Good morning. Right, so my name is Fernando Zavala, and we are on the negative side of body cameras. Because right? we believe that police officers using body cameras is a matter of privacy in concerns of the people's rights. Also, the right of the officers to wear them. Although police officers are going to be wearing the body cameras, does not mean that they're going to turn them on, okay, or off. Otherwise, cameras will not benefit of the people's safety and tranquility. And it's made to prevent, you know, that, you know, like, prevent officers to turn them on or off, okay? In my first argument, the police officers to by turning off their body cameras on August 12, 2015 by Eric Marco Woods by the Newsweek Media Group. All right, so to be sure there are good reasons of an officer to be allowed to turn off the camera, for an instance, Blitz notes that when an officer is speaking with a confidential inf informant recording that interaction cannot put that person in danger, but so far, Blitz says that there are no federal rules on when to turn the cameras on and off. So each state is left to say its own rules, which the office has a right to turn his camera on. On my second argument, it's from releasing the body camera footage on December 12th of 2016 by Tim Dimo. Sets of consulting and investigative services. All right? But while the issue may seem simple, it, it is not always so. They use body cameras to, it, um, it's inherent with concerns including how and when the video footage can be used. For example, should the video footage be public? If so, when? So last September, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department was pressured to release body camera footage of, of, of Keith Lamont Scott death following days of Protestants in Charlotte. Um, so, okay. In my third argument, body cameras not working as planned. On January 25th of 2016, by Will Ezra, for the marketing specialist at College of Education. While mounted police cameras can pick up and absolutely everything of an officer sees, the video obtained when these cameras can help paint a much clearer picture of what happened in the in the incident. So police reports, especially in complex situations, can be hard for juries to interpret or visualize. Video evidence removes a lot of the uncertainty. Also, the Justice Department announced it will begin a body camera program to assist the police in law enforcement to wear body cameras. So I now stand open. I stand, stand open for cop examination. Hello, Gladys. Hello. Um, okay, Fernando. Um, so what do you mean by putting the person in danger when reporting? All right, so I mean by, it's so when the officer is recording, <coughs> you know, like you got pulled over. And, you're like in panic because of the like new stuff that has happened. So like you don't want no personal issues of you going into that footage. No marriage issues. No no 
something that the police is going to haunt you for. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, what about why was Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department? pressure to uh, release the footage of the death of that one man. Uh, I have no information. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, why don't um, all body cameras capture all angles of the incident? Well, because every camera is placed on the shoulder, on the chest, but maybe like on the head. So when a jury is in court, he cannot see everything of what the cop says, of what sees, but he can, he can hear what he's, what he's saying, so he can in interpret of what it's, it's going on. But they don't know what is going on as what the cop is seeing in the incident. Good.